There are three selection states that will enable certain types of editing tools within Mesh Mixer. The first and easiest to do is left click on an object to select it. In this scene I have several objects and I can click on each one separately to make it the active object. With a single object selected, I can then use the sculpting tools, stamps, and a various set of tools in the edit bucket such as mirror. Selecting multiple objects will give you different options than if you only had one selected. To select more than one object, press shift while clicking another object. Here I click on the bunny to make it active, then shift click on the wings so that they are both selected. Now you can see my tools in the left hand panel have updated since I have two objects selected. For example, I have these booleans which will add, subtract, or intersect the two objects. Here I perform a boolean union which will fuse these two objects into one. The object browser is also handy for selecting objects. You can show the object browser by clicking view, show object browser in the menu. Now I can click on the objects here as well. Using the shift or control key, I can also select multiple objects. You can select the triangles or faces of any object by entering the select tool in the left hand toolbar. You can also press the S hotkey to enter the select tool. This allows you to select a portion of your object rather than the whole thing. Here I enter the select tool and can start to paint select faces. The selected faces are highlighted in orange. I can increase or decrease the size of my brush for more or less coverage while I paint select. You can see that the resolution of my selection is based on the triangles my object is made of. If I press the hotkey W to toggle on the visualization of the wireframe rendering on my model, I can see how the triangles are selected by dragging the paint selection on top of the model. Pressing shift and painting will deselect those faces. Now with this selection, I have a unique set of editing tools that will apply only to my selection for example, Reduce. Reduce will simplify the geometry of my selection so that there are less faces. Note how it only affects those selected faces. I can also select faces with the polygonal fence. Here I can enter the Select tool and start by clicking off of my model this time to start the polygonal fence. I can click several more times to define my fence and finish by clicking the Start point. Now all of the faces contained in the polygonal fence are selected. Again, I can use one of the tools available for face selections, such as Erase and Fill. Erase and Fill will replace the selected faces with a new set of faces defined by the sliders here. Another quick way to select a lot of faces at once is to make a laser selection. This can take some time getting used to, but is very quick. Here's how it works. Enter the Select tool again, and click off of the model and drag a line through it. Now the faces on one side are selected and the other side is not. It can take some getting used to the laser select and the best way to understand it is that everything on one side of the line gets selected. Now with this selection I can use any of the tools that work with the face selections such as modify smooth boundary which will smooth out the jaggedness of the faces at the boundary of a selection. I can exit the selection tool by clicking clear selection or by pressing the escape key which gets me back into my object selection. So in summary, I get different editing tools and options, whether I have an object selected, multiple objects selected, or faces of an object selected, which I can get to by entering the select tool.